Saipan is leading the way in effective and safe public solid waste disposal in Micronesia. The CNMI government, with the assistance of the Department of Interior and the Environmental Protection Agency, and under the direction of local agencies such as Coastal Resources Management and the Department of Environmental Quality, have finally closed Puerto Rico dump to public dumping. Operated by the Department of Public Works Division of Solid Waste Management, Saipan's new solid waste disposal system has been opened to handle the island's ever-growing waste stream in the most environmentally sound manner. The Puerto Rico dump, operated as the island's only dumping facility for over 50 years. During that time, years of unregulated dumping not only grew the Puerto Rico dump into an ugly mountain of trash, it also became the island's largest environmental and health hazard. After years of political and public wrangling about where to open a new dumping facility, the Marpee Depression on the northern end of the island was converted into the first public sanitary landfill of its kind in the region. To assist in the operation of the landfill, the Lower Base Refuse Transfer Station was constructed to divert as much recyclable material as possible from going into the landfill. At both the landfill and the transfer station, residents and trash haulers are directed through a scale system to be weighed according to how much trash they are disposing. After discarding their loads on the transfer station tipping floor, or at the landfill base, they are weighed again and assessed fees according to the overall weight they have disposed of. Either through voluntary or on-site separation efforts, as much cardboard, paper, aluminum, glass, plastics and green waste will be diverted from the landfill and recycled. Larger household appliances such as televisions, microwaves, stoves, water heaters, refrigerators, furniture and scrap metal are also separated from the waste stream. Green waste such as cut trees, bushes and lawn clippings are encouraged to be separated and can be brought to the facility where they will be pulverized and made into compost. The transfer station also accepts residential hazardous waste such as solvents, used motor and cooking oil, batteries, old paint, automobile tires and more. Garment scraps are also being diverted from the landfill at the Garment Waste Recycling Center in Lower Bays. Through this method, 60 to 70 percent of garment waste is kept from clogging the landfill every day. Among the biggest concerns of the Division of Solid Waste Management is the education of residents and businesses about the many forms of recyclable material that can be diverted from the Marpi landfill. Today, public service announcements are being aired on local radio stations, a series of televised public service announcements, news features, and an educational program are planned for further public awareness. Future neighborhood convenience centers are being planned for other areas of the island to encourage proper disposal of waste and discourage illegal dumping. And proper closure of the Puerto Rico dump is being drafted and may include turning the site into a public park. In conclusion, Saipan is officially recycling. The Puerto Rico dump is closed to public dumping, and the new sanitary landfill and refuse transfer station have been opened for business. Everyone on island is encouraged to reduce their trash through reusing and recycling. If you have further questions regarding the new solid waste disposal system, contact the Division of Solid Waste Management at 322-2745. This concludes the Division of Solid Waste Management's presentation of the Saipan Integrated Solid Waste Management Program.